Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and I just want to do a quick video short on this new series, 70s, Worst Song of the 70s, Madness. Um, it's been interesting so far. So the point of it, the whole reason I'm doing this is, is two reasons. One is to get some counterbalance, okay? Because, you know, I just, I just was having breakfast with a couple guys the other day. I just met them and they invited me over to the table and the guy's like, hey, I'd rather go to a doctor in the 1960s. I'm like, are you nuts? No MRI? Like no modern technology? He's like, well, you know. <laughs> I'm like, people have selective memory, rose-colored glasses. And, you know, for people to say the old music was better, they, they just kind of forget about how bad some of it was, you know. So, and then the second thing is, I'm just trying to expand the audience. So I'm trying to get in some older viewers and some unique viewers. Well, boy, is that working? Uh, in fact, so much so that it's really split the channel. I probably, you know, I probably should have started a, a a new channel, I guess. But uh, you know, I didn't know. If you're a young viewer under 45 and you're watching this series, let me know, okay? Especially if you're under 35, because the analytics are telling me it's just older viewers but i am trying to expand the channel and i'm going to close here just to let you know there there is a cottage industry here's a book called the worst rock and roll records of all time it's not just 70s but let me read this little paragraph and we'll close with this so no rock decade has seen the release and chart success of more lousy songs than the 70s we're willing to bet that if you named your own personal list of worst rock songs, three quarters of them would be from the 70s. Looking back, you can summarize the decade's chart action when you realize that Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head was the number one song for the entire month of January 1970, and Escape, the Pina Colada song, closed out the decade as the top song. In With a Whimper, Out With a Whimper. In between, you had Helen Reddy, Barry Manilow, Mac Davis, Tony Orlando and Don, The Captain and Tennille, Olivia Newton-John, and that's not even to mention bubblegum or disco. At times, it seemed as if the pop charts had been confined to 10 years of purgatory, and the only person allowed in who could recognize a beat was Paul McCartney, and he kept singing silly love songs. You know, I'm enjoying this. I'm getting uh, some really good comments. And I'm getting, um, uh, like say, a lot of older viewers, a lot of unique viewers. But the thing I want to emphasize is that I'm not numbering these as episodes. If you'll notice, uh, these are not episode number, blah, blah, blah. This is a separate playlist. It'll be a sum total of 31 videos. Then it will be over and it will be done. And so it's a completely unnumbered separate playlist if you go to my video playlist you can just ignore that if you don't want to watch these videos and uh, we'll keep doing reactions and the other thing to let you know is i'm doing this on thursdays and saturdays so you're not losing any content this is just additional content for a while to record more videos and up the content uh, I usually do videos on Wednesdays uh, and Fridays. I used to do them on Mondays, but those didn't perform very well, so I kind of slacked off. Um, so that's where we're at, so I'm being honest with you guys. Um, like I say, I've been getting some dislikes and things. Oh, well, you know, we're just trying to have fun here poke um, fun at some sacred cows, and I hope you'll join me, and if you're not interested... That's fine. We'll keep doing the reaction videos. Thank you. Buen dia.